Hi everyone, hope you're having a good day. Um, for the digital curation assignment, I chose to use ProTrees.com as my curation tool. Um, ProTrees allows the user an efficient way to organize one's collection of a focused group of resources. These resources can be websites, PDFs, or personal files, images, and notes. The interface of the site is highly visual, so I was very much drawn to how Pearl Trees allows you to organize and curate digital content in a beautiful, aesthetically pleasing way. Um, in this demo tutorial, I will show you via screencast how to use Pearl Trees for your own digital curation. Thank you. This is my account page on pearltrees.com. It takes me here directly after I log in. On this page, all of my various collections are displayed. My main collection is Feministing the Library, Resources for Feminist Librarians. By clicking on its folder image, I'm taken to an array of media resources. Basically, the collection consists of different media that librarians can utilize and learn from that will help them make their libraries feminist spaces. The media in the digital repository will inform librarians in how to both evade and confront patriarchal systems within the space. Included are blog posts, podcasts, books, and scholarly journals, personal blogs, social media accounts, sexual abuse resources, and a reader's advisory list that aid in collection development. Overall, these materials can really inspire librarians to implement feminist programming in their libraries and add feminist resources to their collections. News articles, such as one on how the San Diego Public Library System trained all of its employees to identify and communicate with victims of sex trafficking, offer examples of how librarians can partake in outreach that correlates to feminist principles. Another resource that I have added is actually a project that I did for LIS 600. I made a website um, for sexual assault resources and I called it the Sexual Violence Canon for Recovery. This site in particular offers a lot of book titles and a lot of different literature that is helpful for survivors of sexual assault. Because digital curation involves active participation and content management for future use, being able to easily add content is invaluable. So luckily that's an attribute that Pearl Trace has. By far the best tool hands down is Pearl Trees' Web Clipper. Basically, the Web Clipper is a bookmarking tool that integrates into your web browser. Let's say I'm searching on the internet and I come across this article. Feminism and the Future of Library Discovery. Basically, this article is extremely appropriate for my collection. It definitely belongs. So what I can do, I can go over to the web clipper, the 
this little star surrounded by the blue circle. Click on it. Direct it to the correct folder. Click C. And automatically the article pops up into my collection. I also want to add this article, Feminism and Libraries, Knowledge is Our Superpower. This definitely belongs in the collection too. So I can go up to the little web clipper, click, direct it to the correct folder, and there it is. It appears within the repository. Now that I'm back at my collection, I have to think about organizing my new items. I could add a new section, or I could drag the items to an appropriate spot. Unfortunately, dragging can be somewhat of a nuisance. Um, sometimes it's really hard to drag um, particular pieces of content, especially if the content belongs towards the bottom of the page. So dragging can be useful, but not in every situation. But Pearl Trees does have an extremely beneficial feature called the drop zone. What I can do is I can click on this particular piece of content drag it to the very bottom to this bar called the drop zone and then let go. I'll do the same with this other article and when it gets really tiny that means it is positioned within the drop zone and now I can scroll anywhere that I would like to on the page and position these particular pieces of content. The first article was was more scholarly. Um, it came to, it came from a journal, so I'm going to position it within the books, peer-reviewed articles, and thesis section. So I click on it, drag it, and it is placed in its appropriate spot. The second article was not really a personal blog, but it was a blog post that dealt with appropriate subject matter. So since it is pertinent to the collection, I'm going to put it in the blog post and podcast section. So I can click on it, then place it where it needs to be. Overall, this tool is really helpful for organization and for customizing your own curation process. For more information about some of the other customization features that Pearl Trees offers, you can view the much longer, more in-depth video tutorial that I have on my channel. And thank you, and I really hope you enjoyed my video tutorial. Bye.